It's 2018, and the Colorado Military Academy has exactly one semester and over 560 cadets under its belt. And we're, we're enrolling new cadets every day. The charter school, which focuses on a STEM-heavy or science, technology, engineering, and mathematics-heavy curriculum with added discipline thrown into the mix, was made in large part to fill a need. And so there's a lot of excitement at the school. There's a lot of excitement in the community, especially amongst the military community, to have a new choice option available here. And with the majority of students coming from military backgrounds, it only makes sense for the vast majority of teachers to come from the same backgrounds. Over 90% of our staff have got a military affiliation. They're a veteran like me, they're a spouse of somebody who's in the active duty or reserves. Some of them grew up uh, as a military brat, as we say. And so we kind of all uh, talk the same talk and walk the same walk. And the shared experience of having to move from here to there and back again for deployments helps teachers and students connect more easily. They can trust me a little bit differently than they might someone who they feel they can't relate with at all. They basically know what I've been through. Just really helpful to know that every, almost everyone in this school has gone through it. I've gone through. But enough about the present and on to the future. The school has plans to further its unique atmosphere. And that's that military program, that leadership and character development at all the grade levels. In addition, next year this K through 8th grade school is adding 9th grade. We're going to continue to add a grade each year. And in four years, once they reach K through 12th grade, they hope to be at 1,100 students. On top of that, the school is receiving some heavy renovations in part thanks to a $680,000 grant. Over $200,000 will go to creating a new STEM lab and media center, and around forty dollars to $50,000 will go to creating a new playground. It's just, it's all our growth is so exciting. As for the kids, going forward, if they have to switch schools again, teachers are confident they should have no academic difficulties. So as long as they apply what they're learning here now, they'll go in, they'll have no issues going to other schools. Last note on future development, CMA hopes to expand to other cities. We don't want to hold this right here. We don't be selfish and hold it here in Colorado Springs. We'd love to be able to replicate this in the future uh, once we've got uh, er everything firmly in place. But that's still a few years down the line. Always watching out for you, John McMichael, News 5.